this is my best friend Nat. She is also a master stylist at Lola's Hair Designers for 23 years. So you can see where I'm leaving only about an eighth of an inch of her hairline out. Place the band-aid about an eighth of an inch, which is not very much, past her hairline. Smooth the band-aid on. Next, I'm going to make her temple points keeping the serrated edge always away from the face and I'm going to go about an eighth of an inch in front of her hairline overlapping the top band-aid still just making her a new hairline the final part is her sideburn all I'm going to do is overlap over the previous piece of uh, band-aid come down cover her sideburns and bond the tape to her skin. I have now completed the other side of her app and what you see here are the true blue tapes and that's just to bond the wig cap even more so to the band-aids. Now we're ready to install the band-aids for the back. Pull the cap down a little bit more. Take that band-aid and come about an eighth of an inch below her natural hairline. Take your scissors and cut away the wig cap so that you can have sufficient bonding area over here. Okay, with the serrated edge of the band-aid pointed up, we're going to go down and cover her hair right there. Make sure it goes past her hair and touches her skin and we're going to press that into place. Right there is the last place we're going to put that band-aid. I'm going to do the same thing over this side. We're ready to go ahead and start installing the wig. We're going to start with the front. A little tip to use for the lid of Miss Lowell's adhesive cream. Use a little sandwich bags and then place it in between the lid and the lid of the jar and it comes off real easy. The lid doesn't stick, the cream doesn't dry out, and you're good to go. We're going to use a Q-tip. Okay, you're just going to apply Miss Lola's adhesive cream. Not touching the skin, but right on the band-aid. You can use a fairly thick layer with your fingertips. I prefer that because you can get it smoother. It's to go around the entire hairline and smooth the cream in, just letting it overlap a very little onto the skin. We don't want to overlap too much. This little adhesive cream cleans up easily with alcohol. If you go ahead and do your clean up before it starts to dry clear. Miss Lola's adhesive cream has dried clear and now we're going to install her wig. We start with the front. We're just going to align the hairline of the wig just a tad past the edge of the band-aid. then follow it all the way around the sides watching what you're doing going a little bit past and there we go and same thing with this side her front is bonded gonna go around and trim this hairline up to make it more natural take off all of the tapes take my little piece of plastic off there. We're going to start applying the cream not on the skin just on the band-aid at this point. Now with your fingertip just go a little bit past the cream to mold and mail the band-aid to her skin. Miss Lowe's adhesive cream has dried clear on the back hairline and now what we're going to do is over the Miss Lola's adhesive cream. I'm going to go around it with a layer of no tape. This is just to ensure that the wig will stay bonded as long as possible. And again, with the no tape, you don't want to get any on the skin. We're just going to wait about 60 seconds for the no tape to dry tacky. It's just gently. Just like with the top, go just a little bit past 
the bonding area. If you want to see what you're doing on one side, you can do that first. And start to bond there. Same thing here. There we go. And just bond. Got that wide bonding area there to ensure a great bond. And I'm going to come over here and make sure everything's fitting perfectly over here. Okay. Ah, great fit and a great bond. Okay. Nat is all bonded all the way around. And what I did was I just went around in any areas that needed trimming, any of the lace that needed trimming. I did that. That's something you can do without worry all the way around. She is bonded superbly. And this is the Band-Aid method all the way around. Now all that's left is to style and cut the unit. How, see how natural her hairline looks? And just like a little fringe of a bang, she can actually take this curly style down and wear that. But we're close today. She came in to help me out with this video. I'm exhausted. She's exhausted. And we both still have a lot of work to do. So the both of us have our ponytails. As always, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.